We are awaiting the ceremonial first pitch and the man entering on the golf cart is a beloved figure here in Boston Red Sox land. Jerry Remy who played second base here for a lot of years and for even more has been a part of their broadcast team missed the season as he's recovering from lung cancer and Jerry is on his way out to throw out the ceremonial first pitch and when that happens a place that already has a lot of energy Alex is going to go uh, even more nuts. But terrific way to open the proceedings in Boston. At the last time the native Aldi faced the Yankees 11 days ago he got pounded. His splitter wasn't good. His slider wasn't good. Seven runs allowed in two and two thirds innings. He's been their best pitcher. He's an all star. But tonight Matt count the swings and misses. They will tell a story to the winner the Tampa Bay Rays a team that won 100 games this year for the loser tonight their 2021 season comes to an end. Crowd on its feet for the first pitch and Rizzo takes a one hopper down to Bobby Dahlbeck for the first out hit it hard but right at the Boston first baseman. Well that'll bring up Aaron Judge the three time all star has been right in the middle of all the Yankees success this year. Got 11 postseason home runs and he swings pops it into right field and shallow on comes Renfro he's there makes the catch. He jammed him with that one two quick outs for Nathan Avaldi. Well the last time the Yankees were in Boston this guy was a one man wrecking crew. Oh he got another one. He got another one. No it's off the monster. And Stanton who put it into the home run trot thinking the same thing I was is satisfied with a single. Oh my a game of inches but in a one game playoff anything can count. Stan thinking is way gone. Well Fenway Park can uh, giveth and Fenway Park can taketh away. Oh, no. Did he check it. He did not. They appeal down to third. Gallows rung up in a two out single is left stranded. A scoreless start to the night for Nate Evaldi with an ERA over six in his last five assignments. There is some optimism that the Red Sox may be able to get to him tonight. He's been a tough customer in postseasons past. Payoff pitch. Lost him on ball four. Paul is averaging just over two walks per nine innings. Fifth best in the league. Issues a two out walk in the first inning. Xander is five for 24 with one homer against Garrett Cole. Here's the pitch. And he swings and drives one to center field and deep. Gardner going back, looking up. Goodbye, home run, Xander Bogarts. Two, nothing, Red Sox. He hit it about four rows up into the center field seats. A straight line from home plate out there. Xander's third career postseason homer. Two, nothing, Boston. The sixth home run allowed by Garrett Cole at Fenway Park this year in less than 17 innings. Now Plowicki, who handles high velocity pretty well. Oh, there's a drive toward the gap in right center field. Long run, Gardner still on the go off by the bullpen. It hits off the base of the bullpen wall. Plowicki on his way to second, and he's in there with a puff up slide and a double. After all, this is a right handed batter that hit 287 this year, and he's in scoring position with one away. Here is Cole's 1 2. Struck him out swinging high fastball. So Cole struck out the side. Rizzo's had some success against Nate Evaldi, by the way, to the tune of five hits in nine at bats prior to tonight. All five of the hits have come on fastballs. Four strikeouts for Nate Evaldi tonight. And he got Rizzo on the timing. Well done by Evaldi. A magician out there tonight. Bottom of the third, Red Sox leading two to nothing. The top of the order up there against the Yankees ace. Oh, high and deep out to right field. Judge back and watching, and it's gone. It's a towering high fly ball home run that went 435 feet, and the Red Sox lead three to nothing on a couple of home runs. He got him as a Cub in 2015, and he got him as a Boston Red Sox tonight. And as a Cub in 2015, it was a slider that he hit a country mile. This time is a one-two fastball up in the zone. There he goes. 
Doesn't matter ball four. I don't think anybody preparing for this one evaluating this one or previewing this one in any capacity wow. thought that Garrett Cole was going to be gone after two plus and 50 pitches but that's exactly what's happened tonight. Another 0 2 pitch off speed pitch hit well to center but again room for Kike as he drifts toward right field to make the catch and the Yankees go in order in the fourth. Valdi's retired seven in a row. The one two pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Slider. And the inning is over. Valdi mows him down. He's got seven punch outs. And he is rolling halfway home. Three nothing. Red Sox lead the Yankees. Seven strikeouts. He's allowed two singles. Starts the sixth, having retired the last ten Yankees to face him. And he gets Odor on three pitches. He threw a splitter knee high no argument from Odor eight strikeouts for Evaldi tonight one gun base is empty for Anthony Rizzo Rizzo drills one to deep right field but I think it's going to go fair for a home run Anthony Rizzo Rizzo rakes into the right field seats it was heading toward the pole and it straightened out went past the pole for a home run. Nobody beats the Riz. Both former Cubs heroes with big home runs tonight. Both playing first base. Both leading off on a couple of hops for Bogarts who's got a hurry and Judge beats it out. Perhaps a little bit of momentum going the way of the visitors here in the sixth inning. Here comes Alex Cora. He has Ryan Brazier up and he's made the move. The first sign of trouble. And Evaldi, who was spectacular through five innings, leaves the Red Sox leading by a pair. Stanton hits one to the monster again, and that one's off the top of the wall. Judge streaking around third. The throw to the plate is in time to get him. Perfect execution by the Red Sox. What a mistake by Phil Nevin, who's done that before in this ballpark. Can't believe he sat him with one out. You understand that could have made it 3 2 with a tying run at second and one out. That was a big play and a great throw by Bogart. Gallo swings, hits a pop up on the left side. Devers is under it as he retreats onto the outfield grass and makes the catch. Thank you very much. Woo. Third baseman Odor way off the line. The pitch hit hard toward the right field corner. Hooking toward the pole. It is a fair ball played by Judge in the corner. Bogarts is coming around to the plate. Here's the relay. He is safe. Just beat the throw standing up as he sprinted across home plate. Red Sox playing a feisty style of baseball. The bases are loaded with two gone for Alex Verdugo. Green comes set. His pitch. Line drive. Base hit. Over the head of the shortstop and into left center field. It will score two. The throw goes to second. And Verdugo is out. Verdugo is out. However, before he was out, he had a two run single, and Boston now takes a mighty 6 1 lead. Stanton's two for three. He's done his part. Pitch is drilled to deep right field toward the pole, and it is gone. It's gone a home run for Stanton. He had a bullet. Fly ball right center field. Renfro is there and calling. He makes the catch, and the Red Sox move on. The Red Sox advance to the American League Division Series against Tampa Bay and they eliminate the New York Yankees with a 6-2 win and they're mobbing each other by the pitcher's mound.